Hello everyone. Today we have Charles Martel and Pippin the Short with us. Hello. Hi. So tell me, how old are the both of you? Well, I am 55. I was born on August 23rd in 686 AD and died on October 22nd in 741 AD. And I was born in 714 AD and died on September 24th in 768 A.D. Charles, can you tell me why you are known as a Christian hero? It was the victory at Battle of Tours that caused me to become a Christian hero. If we had not won that battle, and the Muslims had, Western Europe might have become part of the Muslim Empire. I see. Now tell me, Charles, what kind of power did you hold? Well, I was the mayor of the palace. I held more power than the king himself. During the Merovingian time, I was the great leader of the Frankish kingdom. People called me Charles the Hammer. Wow. Well, tell me, Pippin, was your son, Charlemagne, the one who gave Charles a name to the next dynasty? Yes, he was. My son was a great leader and a very powerful man. He told the new generation that lived in the kingdom what Charles did and that it's one of the reasons we are where we are today. I see. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Pippin. Did you follow in your father's footsteps? I did follow in my father's footsteps because I did take over the role my father had. Oh, and by the way, my father is Charles. Unlikely. But unlike my father, I truly cooperated with the Pope, which many people have probably heard. I also founded the Carolingian dynasty and left a much strengthened Frankish kingdom to my sons, Carloman and Charles. I also hear a lot about a message you sent to the Pope yourself, Pippin. Tell me more about that. Well, I sent a message to the Pope asking if it would be a sin to remove the Merovingian king from power, and ended up not being, which later led my son Charles, or Charles of Vigne, to become the king. Did either one of you think you were more powerful than him? I wouldn't necessarily say I'm more powerful than him, but he definitely respects me as his elder, and still would listen to things I tell him to do. I was a more powerful person in mind his relationship, but when it came to the people of the kingdom, he was a more powerful person. Pippin, were you the one that fought the Lombards? Yes, I did agree to fight the Lombards. They invaded central Italy and threatened Rome, but in exchange, the Pope named me king by the grace of God. That began the Carolingian dynasty. Our family ruled the Franks from 751 to 987 A.D. Well, that's all the questions I have for you two. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. Thank you.